So Shirley, I know it's been a very long day for you, but I would like, if, if I may, just to ask a few slightly impertinent questions. The first, OCV, you're into control valves, and I understand you're completely manufacturing in the States. How is that possible in this day and age? Well, OCV has been around for 60 years, and we are a family-owned company, and our current owners, our brother and sister, they're the son and daughter of the originator of OCV, which was Tex Radford, and um, they're very, um, it's very important to them to keep the family atmosphere, um, the customer service, the quality that we offer being family owned. Um, and by staying within, doing our own manufacturing, bringing in the castings, um, having our own paint shop. We manufacture paint, assemble, and then out the door, all within three buildings within each other. So um, by being able to do that and being responsible for the quality of product we're putting out, um, it holds us accountable to make sure that we are giving a good quality product. Okay, so OCV is control valves. Can you tell me some of the changes you're seeing in the control valve market at this time? One of the biggest uh, changes, I would say, with the control valves is going digital, um, using electronic interfaces to operate um, from SCADA systems or with the pump systems or skids that these valves go on and being able to control them from the control room uh, without having to go out into the field and adjust anything. Um, our valves are hydraulically operated but if you want to change uh, the pressure or the flow in the middle of the day with um, the digital aspect of it, you can do that without having to drive 50 miles out to a valve and do that. Now these have been tough times for a lot of manufacturers, so my rude question is, how are you guys coping? Um, one of the things is we are very diverse. Uh, we are here at a fueling show, but we also are in water. Um, industrial irrigation. Uh, we also have fire market. Um, so there's other aspects that we can kind of buckle down in when times get tough in one market as everybody knows that one market goes down and the other one goes up. So by being diverse in the different markets we kind of hold each other up. Uh, we have uh, what we use as lean marketing, um, lean manufacturing where it, it's just everybody kind of does their part to make sure that we're not wasteful in any way um, and then by also having our own paint shop and our own cast you know our own manufacturing plant all there together then we're able to control the cost that we're we're seeing a little bit better now you're talking about some new markets perhaps and I've heard a rumor that you're entering the uh, metering business is that correct no, no, uh, we're not essentially entering the metering, but we do have a controller that if you don't want to spend the money for the meter and then also have to have that valve do the things you need it to do, we have a controller that will essentially talk to our valve and communicate with their controller without having the duplication of that. And um, very, very high tech, up to date, um, and that way you can make the changes that you need to do, but that is one of the, the things that we're, we're doing. Okay, my final slightly impertinent question. How important is it to you as an American company to develop a global presence? Uh, global presence is very important to OCV. Uh, we have a very large presence internationally, and by just keeping communications up and looking for other representation to represent us internationally, um, very important. Um, we want to culture relationships, whether it's in the U.S. or Japan or China or Mexico, and we definitely want to make sure that OCV's name is out there and represented properly. So looking ahead, it's a good business to be in? Definitely. Love the company. Plan to be here another 60 years.